Alright ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keenan and yes, welcome back to Survive the Forgotten, a series where we take a look at older and more forgotten survival horror titles. In today's little episode I take a look at a game that was recommended to me by a few people and at first it kind of seemed like it was a joke sort of recommendation, but then I was like, you know what, okay, fuck it, I'll play it, let's see how bad it is and then, you know, I'm here now to tell you about it and later to show you because I actually had a good bit of fun playing it, I'm not gonna lie, I've had really really good fun playing this game despite everyone's sort of, or despite its reputation anyway. So the game follows homicide detective Keith J. Snyder, who was assigned to be a bodyguard for a few VIPs who were quite important to a new horror themed casino that opened up in town called the Desert Moon. Things were quite settled, you know, people were gambling, people were having fun until a fire breaks out and weird black liquid started pouring from the fire sprinklers turning nearly everyone in the casino into vampires. The story is something you don't really need to care about in this game because what makes this game shine in my opinion is its overall personality. Like on the surface it's pretty much a classic Resident Evil clone with the inventory system, fixed camera angles and backtracking, you know, all that sort of shit, but it does add a ton of its own elements that kind of makes it stand out from the crowd. Elements such as the dart gun which is used to sedate the vampire enemies, then afterwards you can use something called whitewater to turn them back into humans, and yes, there is gambling, there is gambling, I can confirm that. <laughs> like they actually make use of the environment and introduce a currency system into the game which you can use in vending machines to purchase supplies like you know healing items or ammo or something or you can use the currency for good use I suppose and put them into a slot machine and hopefully you get lucky. So I was sitting here and I was like do you know what should I continue with this script I have no idea but then the thought came to me, hey, maybe I should just, you know, jump right into the gameplay, maybe I should just show instead of tell, you know? Because with this game, it's definitely one of those cases where I can't really tell you what kind of game it is, you kind of have to see it, you kind of have to play it for yourself, but, you know, sit back and enjoy the gameplay because this gameplay is honestly a lot of fun and I never realised how much fun I was going to have in this game until I was playing it, I was actually quite dreading playing it until, you know, about half an hour in and I was like, okay, this is quite fun. But yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy Countdown Vampires. Ah, uh, fucking... Oh, there's no hard mode? What kind of game is this? <laughs> but oh, we get to put another name and everything. Fantastic. I think you guys know what I'm going to go for as well. Good thing is here is that there's no, like, online system to set to tell me, like, hey, by the way, this game, this name is banned, you cannot use this name. You guys are probably saying fuck's sake Kieran, but I don't care, it's my character's name. It's my character's name in every game. Wait, blood group. Okay, so we have A, B, A, B, and O. I'm gonna go with blood type O. I'll be honest, I don't even know what blood type I am, so <laughs> I don't even know how. Yeah. I'm a homicide detective. Are you, fine? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I come here, VIPs, at the casino hotel opening party. For the opening party. <laughs> what kind of fucking voice is that guy putting on? Oh, hello. Was this made in the 90s by any chance? I think so. I think so. <laughs> fucking hell. But I'm just taking a look at all these characters. Is that blood in there? I don't know, I've been playing a lot of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines recently, so... I think that could be more. hello. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> See, I have no idea if I'm meant to take this game seriously or not. The game is suggesting to me to not take it seriously. Definitely not. It's giving me like deadly premonition sort of vibes. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> There's like no themes or anything like that being portrayed here. It's just a nightclub. There's someone in a Halloween mask. There is a cat that I think is a vampire cat maybe? I don't know. Oh, more people are just turning into vampires. Fantastic. Or something else. I have no idea. Oh, they're vampires. All right, okay. Okay. <laughs> what happened? To, what? What's happening? Here, use this. What? What? Where did everyone go? Where did the other vamp? What happened to the other vampires? This place was packed a second ago. Um, sure, I can do that. Hang on, I just need to figure out how to. There we are. Literally straight off the bat, three minute timer. I don't even know what the hell is fucking going on. 
I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I'm, I'm supposed to look out for like a moon door or something. These vampires are a wee bit slow as well. Like a second ago they were dashing around the place like a proper gremlin. Oh, the key is damaged. I can't open the door. Alright, fantastic. Let's just... I mean, this is an interesting location, like a, a nightclub or a... Is that him remembering? Oh, okay. Um... Use the anesthetic stun gun and after they're up... Don't give me a fucking paragraph and give me like a second to read it. <laughs> give me the option to skip the paragraph if I want to. By the way, I'm probably never going to return back to this game. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that right now. This, this seems like one of those games I'm going to play once just for the sake of saying, hey, by the way, I've played this. I'm just dying. <laughs> I'm just dying so much to like the most simplest fucking things because I can't even run around. I'm just trying to look for shit. And also there's always like a pause every time the uh, like the camera angle changes. So that's why that's one of the things that's kind of fucking me up at the moment. Hang on. Fucking. Oh wait, that instantly kills him. Right. Right, okay, so I get it, right. And I'm dead. Right, okay. <laughs> Took me a while to die. Wonder if I come back as a vampire, is that a thing? Game over. That's the first game over, fantastic. The thing is, you must give Resident Evil something, right? Is that their loan screens are actually quite good. And they don't appear to be loan screens at first. It's way better than just saying, Loading! Every two seconds when you leave an area. I must admit though, this is like the weirdest layout of a club I've seen yet. <laughs> or just kiss, you know. I don't even know if it's a club. It looks like a club to me. Alright then. Okay. Alright, okay, so pour some white water in them until they turn back into humans. See, they told me to do that, but where is this white water that I'm supposed to supposed to get? Where is that? <laughs> I don't know where that is. I'm just gonna kill everything. I know he I know he said, hey, by the way, you should probably not do that, but I don't give a fuck. I do not give a fuck. I don't get it. How do you how do you equip white water then? Like what's the what's the button for that? Is it just Is there any buttons for this sort of stuff? Key config, let's see. Um Decision, change weapons. Oh we can just change we oh right, okay. But if I press B or circle, apparently that's to change weapons. That's just an absolute lie, so yeah, there's definitely like a choice and consequence thing here, man. I think I'm already guaranteed to have the bad ending just for the amount of people that I've just killed and not brought back. <laughs> I won't see consequences happening from my actions, man. Because I won't be- Oh, this is a save room because of the music. Is it? If so, because it's going to be the most fucking- Yeah, it is. <laughs> Fuck's sake. There is a locked locker. Open the lock? Yes. Why not? Oh, what has happened? Okay, um... Huh? Oh! Right, okay, right, I understand. So, you have to get the three dots lined up. I see. Right, okay. There we are. I mean, that's cool. That's, that's, that, that's, a, that's a pro, isn't it? Like, that's a fun way of opening a locker, I suppose. Oh, I got the ID for the VIP room known as Susie. Okay, cool. To be fair, I think I should be playing more Ari clones for the channel. I quite enjoy just looking at them and just enjoying them for what they are, man. I love the music in this game as well. Like, I feel like it's not trying to take itself seriously, but at the same time taking itself seriously. There is a vending machine to buy a map. Buy the map? Ah, uh, fuck it. Like, do we have... Do we have money? <laughs> is that a thing? Do we have money? Oh, okay, so we bought... We, we have a map. Alright. For some reason, the game is such a dead rising feel there. Just with the sound effects and shit. So, how do we access this map then? Uh, no, it's not the button. Okay, is it Y? How do we access the map? Ah, right, R1 trigger. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I don't know where to go. Let's just follow, let's just go over the, the fuck. Let's go this way, fuck it. Now loading. How the fuck did people even make it out of this place alive, man? Look at all the bodies just mounting up. There, there must be, yeah, there was a wee fucking box down here, wasn't there? Yes, there was. Fantastic. First game, zero, zero, zero. Okay. Uh, that's a puzzle thing, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, right, okay. Uh, two, five, six. I don't know what it means. 
I thought we would probably need to try and repeat that sort of card process somewhere else. Or maybe do we need to... Or maybe is that is that like a room code? It feels like it's some sort of room code. Hang on, is this another save room? Because I just literally just left one there. Read it. What does it say? Ah, brush up little If this blue lamp turns red, something is not working correctly. Okay, I'm guessing that's a puzzle thing. There is a locked locker. Open the lock. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Another another wee locker thing. Oh, and, oh wait, this is is this the room? Hang on. Is this the same room? No, it's not the same room. I was just confused because it said it was already locked. So I was like, wait, what? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Mate, these puzzles are easy, man. Once you once you figure out, once you figure it out, it's quite it's quite simple. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting into this. I I quite like the setting and all that of it, so I'm quite. I'm quite like, oh hello, this is quite interesting, I suppose. I do like the look, I do like the music, I'm not gonna lie. It's way better than Evil Dead, Hail the Tale to the King, so, you know. The enemies are like, I don't give a fuck about these enemies. These, like, you can talk, call these vampires all you like, mate. But they're absolutely, they're just zombies. They're, they're just zombies. People petitioning fucking for a Resident Evil 3 remake? For a Dino Crisis remake? No, fucking... Countdown Vampires remake, that's where it's at. Where's Countdown Vampires? Where is it? Oh, there you are. What's here? Oh, oh that's a vending machine. Alright, okay. Uh, oh, is this where you get the... Is this where you get, like, items and stuff? That's cool. Let me just keep buying stuff then. Fuck it. I like this. This is a... This is, um... This is a weird, funky game. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm enjoying it. If I wasn't enjoying it, you would definitely, definitely notice. I have a massive smile on my face playing this. Like, you, you, it's, like games like this, you can just appreciate it, man. Like, things like the Evil Dead, Hail to the King are just boring, you know? This is just interesting. Like, <laughs> this is, like, honestly interesting. Like, you're looking at a piece of history, just undocumented. No one remembers it. That's why it's going on to the CD, so everyone can remember this game. I use the ID for the Club Nancy. Hey, we're unlocking locations, we're progressing. That's cool. I must admit though, like, this this machine... We can play slot machines in this game? What? <laughs> what? What the fuck? Give me a big... Oh, give me a good payout. Of course it's a casino. Hey, we got paid five, alright. Let's just keep playing. Oh. Oh. They, they give you a few wins and then they just trap you. This machine is broken. Why does it keep giving me like gaps every two seconds? Is there like a strategy to this? Is there a strategy to this? Bar. Nah. Never mind. Okay. Oh, we got two crowns. What, man? Okay. We're gonna get, we're gonna get a win. We're gonna, ah, oh, never mind. We're not gonna get a win. Hey, there we are. Okay, see, we're, we're rolling, we're rolling. Let's get this go. Keep this, keep going. Right, okay, one more chance. No, okay, that's just fucked up. All right. <laughs> Did we just like waste all of our money just on a slot machine? There is that real? Is that really happening? Money we could have used on a fucking. Wait, what? What did I say? Uh, you need a J in order to play. <laughs> Nice. Oh, we need, alright, so we need money. That's what it's saying. It's like, yo, fucking skin. What is this game? <laughs> this, how have I not found out this game before? Like, what? May I think I need to play that. I think I need to stream this. I think this is a stream game. I think it is. It seems like it. Alright, so can we enter this room yet? Because we do have key cards, so... Alright, yeah, so, uh, yeah, okay, so we can... I forgot that was a, uh, that was a part of the Nancy Club as well. Because there's a sign above it saying Oos or something. Is this where the toilets are? Because I've not seen a single toilet yet, so that's kind of concerning. Oh, hello. Oh, please tell me we can play a roulette. Come on. No way. Oh, you can! Oh, we need the money. Alright, we need money. <laughs> we need we need the J to play. Oh, right. Hang on. <laughs> there must be some... Where can we get the money from? Do we just need to keep killing vampires or something? Is that how we get is that how we get the, the J? I fucking love this game so much. We need to find the 9mm gun as well, apparently. Please tell me like when you there's like certain casino games where it's like if you play them 
right, or you, like the highest reward you can get from them is like unlocking the shotgun or something. This game, this this game's really cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. I fully expected to come into this and be like, oh, this is fucking shit, ha ha ha, and just make fun of it the entire time. I'm not making fun of this game anymore because it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> like, actually, it's, it's just, oh, there we are, it gives me a gun for calling it brilliant. That's, yeah, okay. Is this the 9mm? It is. <laughs> See, the, the circle button's not working either, because apparently that was meant to swap weapons. Yeah, I've not been able to do that yet, so I don't know what's happening there. And it's also, keep it keeps giving me, like, action music, yet I, there is no one here. Unless this is going to be a boss fight coming up, is that why they gave us a gun? This game, oh, see, that's why this game, that's why I got the whole Dead Rising 2 feeling. Because Dead Rising 2 took place in uh, Vegas. Or, like, the, oh, what was it, Fortune City? Basically, the city after Vegas. Give me Jay. I need Jay. I don't need ammo. I don't need ammo anymore. This game isn't about taking down vampires. I think this game's very creative. I think this game is insanely creative. The door to the screaming moon is locked. Oh, we found it. Right. We were meant to, yeah, we were meant to come there, weren't we? Oh, hello. Oh. Did you lose all your money too? <laughs> it's okay. I'm a police officer. Wait, are you? Snyder. Are you? Okay. Keith J. Snyder. Ah, oh, Jay. Oh. I've I mean, always had Jay with me. Oh. Hey, it's all right. <laughs> Both died at the same Misato, time and both screamed at the same time. I'm going time. to take a look up ahead. You stay here. I'm scared to be alone, Keith. Oh, uh, no, don't do this to me, no. You've got to stay here. Good, reinforcing it, Keith. Fantastic. I'll be right back. Right back. Haha, <laughs> will I fuck? <laughs> I'm coming back for the roulette tables, no you. So that was Countdown Vampires. How did you like it? Did you like the episode of this Survive the Forgotten? Please let me know down in the comments below and if you do have another survival horror game that you want me to check out for the series, please link that down in the comments section below as well. But I do have this massive list of games to get through and I've just not touched the series in a couple of months so I'm going to come back to it, going to play it because there's so many games I want to get out there and play and you know i just never have the opportunity to play them so yeah guys what do you think about countdown vampires i thoroughly enjoyed it i'm going to be playing more of it i'm probably going to stream it actually most definitely i'm going to stream it because it is such a fun game and i finally got the controller thing set up for the playstation so i don't need to keep hitting the escape key and then accidentally closing down the entire po uh, program then playing the game again so <laughs> there's that um but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this episode of survival forgotten i will be doing another episode on eternal darkness so just you know stay tuned for that uh, but yeah guys that's all i really have for today so yeah thank you so much for watching and i shall see y'all later bye bye